would I describe my artistic style? Uh, very free, um, very, um, well, I love color. Very, most of my work is very colorful. I mean, occasionally I'll do black and white, but not very often. Um, it's, uh, you know, I do a bunch of different things. Um, I'd say it's psychological in that I'm trying to uh, project onto the canvas or the paper uh, you know, what's going on in my mind. You know, it's, I wouldn't say it's impressionistic. I'd say it's expressionistic. I think that's a better word. Of my process, you know, is one where I just really rely on my imagination. I, I don't work from like still life or landscape or plein air or, you know, it's definitely not realistic. I'm not looking at anything. Uh, and so my process is trying to access, you know, what's happening with me internally um, and go with it. And so it's, you know, often quite a mystery even to me what I'm going to do and what's going to happen and uh, allowing myself to follow the energy of whatever, whatever is flowing out. Those paintings are, I think, reflect the anxiety that I was feeling and everyone I knew was feeling and the lack of control that we all felt and the fear of the invasiveness of the virus. I would say this, um, each person who looks at my art or really anybody's art, you know, they're they're entitled to their own interpretation and feeling and experience. And so I would be the last person to say, you know, when you look at this painting, I hope you think this or you feel this. Um, that's not my idea at all. Now, what I do hope is that it does evoke something for them, that they look at it and they feel whatever it is they feel and they, spend, they want to spend some time with the painting and explore their own feelings and reactions to it. But there's no right, there's no right way to do that.